वेलकम टू आवर चैनल डब्ल्यू एफ एम विथ प्रिशा कलर रेवोल्यूशन इन इंडिया दीज रेवोल्यूशन चेंज द वेज ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन रेट To increase petroleum production, the government planned to accelerate the production of ethanol and to mix it up with petrol to produce biodiesel. In the yellow revolution, rising from the net importer state, India achieved the status of a self-sufficient and net exporter. This revolution was launched to increase the production of edible oil seeds in the country to meet the domestic demand. Red Revolution Meat and Tomatoes The movement of the green revolution was a great success and changed the country's status from a food deficient economy to one of the world's leading agricultural nations. Brown revolution focuses on meeting the demand for coffee from the developed nations by growing socially responsible and environment friendly coffee. Pink revolution is related to pharmaceutical onion and prawn Blue revolution made the emergence of aquaculture an important and highly productive agricultural activity Gray revolution is related to increased fertilizer production Golden Revolution Horticulture Honey Revolution associated with a sharp increase in milk production in the country is called the White Revolution in India also known as Operation Flood Fiber Revolution is related to cotton The increased production of eggs was made possible due to medical science and more protein rich food for the hens. Golden fiber revolution in India is related to jute production. Round revolution potato. PM Modi tricolor revolution. Saffron white green and blue Saffron revolution focuses on solar energy to meet India's growing energy demand White revolution is for care of cattle and livestock and to eradicate production of synthetic milk which is being produced illegally Second green revolution in India is to tackle sluggish long-term agricultural growth. Blue revolution is for clean water and increasing our sea power by promoting ports and strengthen fishermen. Blue revolution is for clean water and increasing our sea power by promoting ports and strengthen fishermen.